Quick job. ແລະបាទយើងដែលមិនតនៅគេជុំគេចំសាក់ណាការរបស់យើងដែលមិនបាននៅសាក្សីមួយចំនួនដើម្បីឲ្យនៅជំពោះមុខអង្គ ពលរដ្ឋបាលកំណត់ថាពាក់ព័ន្ធនឹងក្នុងរឿងសូនសូនរដ្ឋសិនីមទីស៊ីដែលវាយុ៮ៅពីរនិងទីស៊ីដែលវាយុ៮ៅពីរហើយតើពីនេះក្រុមមានវិការពេក្តីនោះជាអាចរៀបរាប
because he was a senior military commander having knowledge about the existence of a policy uh, existing yes or no to target lone no soldiers. He was present presumably at a meeting in which this policy was discussed and he is very uh, he seems to be uh, strong in his uh, earlier between brackets evidence that there was no such policy and that, uh, there was no policy in which the targeting of officials was discussed there was no killing of so the fact, this, this importance of uh, TCW-223 is the underlying rationale of our further uh, uh, Let me, Mr. President, take the opportunity that um, I would hope that today, or maybe in the later stage, we will be informed as to why the Chamber couldn't reach an agreement as to the summoning of TCW 233 as the one and only character witness uh, for Nguyenchi. But that's a, a separate issue, but we hope to, uh, to have to be enlightened on that, on that subject. But having said all this, uh, the reason that we have now asked for five additional crime-based witnesses in respect of the portray is the fact that in the week of the end of April, beginning of May, two, the only two uh, witnesses testified in respect of the events uh, allegedly occurred at Kul um, it is It's obvious that the prosecution and the defense agree on the fact that these two witnesses did not confirm at all what they have been testifying uh, in front of the T, uh, in, uh, in front of the OCIJ. There were huge discrepancies uh, which we all have des described in, in our request between, on the one hand, their statements and on the other hand, their life testimony. Therefore, uh, we find it of the utmost importance that the five witnesses that the, o that the OCIJ are relying on in their closing order to uh, uh, prosecution say today that it's not possible for whatever reason to have the three soldiers in the, in the movie uh, called here as witnesses, then at least three of those five should be here. So it is for the defense, for the, the defense of New Chi, of crucial importance that not only uh, TCW-223 will appear, but also the five additional two portray witnesses. Um, we have been describing who they are and what they could testify and what, what they have said earlier in their uh, statements. Uh, um, to the OCIJ, I'd be happy to, uh, to paraphrase them, but I'd be also happy to refer the chamber to what we have uh, um, written in our, uh, written our request for this witness. So, uh, to sum up, um, it's for the, the, the defense crucial that we have all six witnesses here uh, ຈົກຄູນຫມົກດາວສະໄຄກຳຈົກພູມຫມົກອັງຈຸນວນຈຸນແລະ <coughs> Some 
Um, thank you, Your Honour. Um, I just wanted to reiterate our position today. We don't um, necessarily object to the calling of witnesses from Tulpo Trey. Um, the prosecution and defence are in agreement that um, further evidence would be uh, beneficial to both parties to um, discharge their obligations. Um, all that we say is that uh, the ch chamber will have to determine when there is enough evidence. And what, we, what we have suggested is that uh, if we call the three witnesses in the video um, and the amount of evidence is satisfactory, it may be the case that we may not need to get to uh, call all of the witnesses uh, that Nguyen's Council have uh, put forward. But what I would suggest, based on the principle that uh, this court should be Dealing with, perhaps, dealing with the best evidence um, from the video, um, as discussed, those three um, soldiers um, appear to provide um, more direct um, eyewitness evidence than the five that have been put forward. So we would ask that those three witnesses be called first, and then subject to um, you know, court time, etc., then uh, proceed down the list to call uh, the other witnesses uh, for tool portray. Um, it's just a, a question of time management and um, ensuring that uh, both parties get enough evidence to call to be able to uh, discharge their obligations. Um, and with, uh, just also to be clear for the record, uh, with, in relation to TCW233, um, the prosecutors confirmed their position on this witness, um, and it's been, that position has been laid out in previous motions that we filed to the court. Uh, they can be found in prosecutors' filing E93. Slash two, dated the 11th of July 2012, and E9 slash 14 slash 1 slash 1 slash 1, dated uh, the 11th of March 2011. And uh, we would uh, we would also like to put on record that uh, the prosecution has uh, put forward to this court that um, if if the witness um, is not called uh, to this trial chamber, that uh, their statements be admitted. Um, certainly TCW 233's transcript be admitted uh, by agreement with the defence. And uh, we will also submit that to the transcript, the associated transcript of the interview um, with Ben Kiernan of TCW 92 also be admitted um, if, in fact, TCW 233 um, cannot uh, is unable to come to court. Now, the document I'm referring to is D313 slash 1.2.406.1, and that contains the record of interview of TCW223 in relation to the uh, incident or the meeting. Um, that uh, he states that he was at uh, with, um, with Nguyen Chia on the 20th of May 1975 when it was discussed uh, when it was, it was asked uh, what the position was in relation to the policy of Lon Nol soldiers. And the reason why we asked that uh, TCW um, 92's transcript which is an associated interview, also be admitted, is that, of course, the, uh, the statement of TCW 233 in perspective as to uh, his version of the events of that meeting on the 20th of May 1975, which is uh, different to that of 233. Again, we would only uh, uh, request that this be done if, if the, um, uh, the defence agreed, because these statements do relate to the acts, um, acts of conduct of the accused, and perhaps would otherwise not be put before the chamber, but uh, if 233 um, 
does not come to court uh, um, to preserve the record um, for both uh, defence and prosecution purposes that uh, the prosecution would agree that those statements be tendered as evidence at least that would be for your honours and you could take but that would require the agreement of the Nguyen Chia team and the Q-Sampan team. I have a question for you. 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 ผู้สะใสได้มีเลขระเบียบนี้คือมีแต่มวยเด้คือตามตำราส่งระบอบเอ่อลูกมีทวีกาเปกระไดลูกนุนเชียช่องเจ้าหน้าผมมวยคือม
ពច្ចិប្បតទៀតចុងក្រោយតែទៅទៅនឹងទូននាទីរបស់គេសម្ព័ន្ធជាពិសេសតែទៅនឹងការរៀនសូត្រនយោបាយសហប្រិយញ
And then we have another witness uh, who we discussed uh, this morning, TCCP 186, we have heard, still we have heard two other witnesses, um, Ping Kim and Rus Soi, uh, a defence witness, who made reference to um, uh, this act these activities of uh, uh, Q Sam Han. But of the witnesses, the prosecution uh, would have liked to have called to um, prove this aspect of his role, to prove his um, strong association and membership to the joint criminal enterprise, um, particularly with Nguyen Chia, um, to, pr to prove his authority and influence, and knowledge of those policies which is necessary for us to do. Um, our assessment is that we would like to call two more witnesses to have a um, significant opportunity to prove that aspect uh, of Q Sampan's role, um, particularly as uh, the DK period was for uh, the three years and eight months. Uh, we propose that um, the, two, the two witnesses, uh, the time period to question them, would be half a day, so it would be one day for the two witnesses. Uh, we propose to focus on that aspect alone. When we look at uh, the two witnesses in terms of their probative value to uh, demonstrate Q um, role in the joint criminal enterprise and his knowledge of, uh, knowledge of the policies and his promoting of the policies, uh, if we look at uh, TCW 164, and you'll see from our, our submission that we made to the chamber uh, just before this trial management meeting that um, Q Sampan, he testifies that Q Sampan and Nguyen Chia um, participated in a two study sessions at Borough Stadium in 1976 and 1978. And he states that uh, Q Sampan uh, discussed the arrest of Pang from Office 870 because he was a traitor collaborating with the Yun. And he also describes uh, Nguyen Chia uh, at the session in 78 with Q Sampan talking about the treason of Khoi Ton. And, and if we look at uh, what TCW 781 has to offer in this regard, uh, he's a Ministry of Commerce worker. He talks about um, the disappearances of half of his unit um, over that period uh, for the purpose of study sessions. And he explains the purpose of study sessions uh, was in fact known that people were being arrested and disappeared and taken away. And then he talks of a meeting uh, with uh, Q Sampan, Van Rit and Nguyen Chia in early January 1979 uh, where the three of them announced uh, the end of calls for study sessions, meaning end of call study sessions because of the need to be unified to fight the enemy. And uh, this witness understood that to mean that uh, there would be no more arrests because we need to uh, unite to um, fight the Vietnamese. So you're Et oui, Monsieur le Président, je, je me permets d'interrompre mon confrère parce que je me demande ce qui est en train de se passer. Nous sommes en, actuellement en train de discuter d'une question technique et euh, le procureur plaide. Euh, il entre dans des détails sur les dépositions, sur ce qui s'est dit, sur... Euh, je ne vois pas l'intérêt, je ne comprends pas. On est en audience de mise en état ou on est en train de plaider le dossier uh, Your Honour, I, I, I understand my friend's point. I mean, it's, it's obviously relevant. It relates to uh, the reason why we like to call these witnesses. But uh, um, certainly, uh, we would um, request 
that we call, uh, that the chamber call these two witnesses because uh, it's strongly uh, disputed uh, by the uh, defence team that he was involved in this uh, political indoctrination session where um, he uh, clearly shows his knowledge of, of the joint uh, the criminal policies. And uh, as we've only had two witnesses called by the prosecution on that point to uh, discharge our, our burden. We'd like to have a, a reasonable opportunity to do that by asking for two witnesses over a one day period. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oui, Monsieur le Président, nous soutenons la demande qui est faite par les procureurs et dans la lignée d'ailleurs de cette demande, nous avons nous-mêmes formulé une demande d'entendre la partie civile TCCP 94 pour des raisons identiques. Est-ce que vous souhaitez que j'explique très rapidement ces raisons, ce qui permettra peut-être à la Défense de répondre à toutes ces propositions en même temps ou est-ce que vous préférez que je fasse ma demande après nous avons adressé cette demande à la Chambre il y a quelques jours de façon officielle ainsi qu'au parti d'ailleurs à propos de cette partie civile TCCP 94. Je ne vais pas redire par, à l'oral ce que j'ai développé par écrit pour justifier cette demande, mais je crois que les arguments sont identiques à ceux qui ont été développés par Monsieur le procureur. Cette personne figurait sur nos listes dès le départ et elle avait d'ailleurs à un moment donné figuré sur la liste de la Chambre elle-même. Cette personne a été proposée à propos des structures et aussi à propos du rôle des accusés. Et cette personne est en mesure d'apporter des éléments sur les discours qui ont été faits, notamment par M. Kiosampan, auprès des Cambodgiens revenus de l'étranger en particulier en mai 76. De façon plus générale, cette personne est en mesure de parler d'autres discours de M. Kiosampan et de la connaissance de M. Kiosampan des politiques qui étaient alors celles du Kampuchea démocratique. Donc pour aller très vite, je m'en réfère bien sûr au contenu de ma demande et je pense que cette personne pourrait apporter des éléments intéressants. C'est une partie civile, je le précise. Merci, M. le Président. Alors, pour répondre au procureur, je me suis un peu amusé d'entendre <coughs> M. le procureur faire semblant de découvrir subitement l'existence de la règle du droit pénal international qui exige que les témoins relatifs aux actes et conduites des accusés fassent l'objet d'un contre-interrogatoire. Quasiment ce qui vient de nous être dit. De même, quand j'entends M. le procureur dire qu'il a découvert euh, au cours de ce procès que euh, M. Kiosampan contestait les faits qui lui étaient reprochés, eh bien, je vous renvoie, M. le procureur, euh, tout simplement aux déclarations liminaires qui ont ouvert ce procès euh, pour vous rappeler que la position de M. Kiosampan ne s'est pas. Euh, formée au cours euh, du procès, elle a été très claire dès le départ. Donc je crois que euh, nous avons entendu des arguments euh, qui étaient des arguments de, de mauvaise foi. La Chambre prendra sa décision. Le procureur a en plus de cela cité euh, tous les témoins déjà entendus sur ces questions. Il y en a certains nombre et nous nous opposons à ce que des témoins supplémentaires soient ajoutés. Et nous préférons, je ne développerai pas, Monsieur le Président, je vous rassure, euh, gagner euh, le temps précieux euh, économisé avec euh, l'absence de comparaison de ces personnes euh, pour du euh, temps de plaidoirie, par exemple. Pour ce qui concerne euh, la partie civile, 
Je voudrais dire que euh, là aussi, euh, le Conseil de la partie civile nous dit à l'instant, nous avons adressé une demande il y a quelques jours. Euh, bon, cette demande, elle a déjà été discutée longuement à l'audience du 11 janvier 2013. Hein, C'est la cote E1, barre de fraction 159.1, euh, cette demande concernant TCCP 94, et sans qu'il y ait réponse tout de suite, le tableau communiqué euh, par la chambre euh, après euh, la communication euh, de votre mémo daté du 30 mai, euh, était très clair sur le sort que vous réserviez à cette réclamation. Donc là aussi, euh, nous nous opposons à cette citation de témoins supplémentaires. Merci. ตัวพองได้ในการสดับดำดำรอดเวนี้ในกายสบูนนี่มาอ๋อคนที่ทำไปดีกับไปได้ลูกนนทีย์ยังไม่ได้เลยสำนักสมสดับไทม์ระบบ
ហ្នឹងអង្គជំរះនឹងបញ្ជាក់ជូនថាតើមានបុគ្គលណាខ្លះដែលពាក្យពីបានធ្នាស់សំនេះពីនេះនឹងត្រូវបានកោះហៅរ